Not everybody was feeling the love from Palm Beach Gardens. I'm Ethan Stein showing you why people got those goodie bags. Goodie bags with snacks didn't work on Phil Pergaton. I got my little squeegee thing. <laughs> the CPA lives in this blue area called Zone 1. He is against Palm Beach Gardens' plan to add it in four other zones into the city. Or everybody's looking to get in and get something out of us, and I just don't think there's anything there that I'm going to need. The city says annexation allows it to lower their tax rate and better plan for future services. <laughs> Tonight, Palm Beach Gardens tried to convince people it's better off with handouts at an information fair. Doris Souza had trouble understanding the changes because she can't move around easily. You have to seek it out yourself. I'm not able to do that. I'm 93. Most people at the meeting were against the change, but Peter Banting, living in Zone 5, is for the change. It just makes total sense. The area is completely surrounded by the city. But his neighborhood is responsible for making street repairs themselves. We went out and put asphalt in the potholes. And so that's the only way the road got any kind of maintenance done on it at all. Each zone would have its own election to decide if it wants to join the city or not. That election could take place in March 2024. In Palm Beach Gardens, Ethan Stein, WPTV News Channel 5.